find the surface area of the isosceles triangle prism below. So here we have a prism has the same cross-sectional area throughout. So, drawing a net, so what you're going to do is draw the bit of cardboard that you need to make that shape without the flap. So we have the bottom bit here, which is just a rectangle, a side bit here, which is also a ret uh, rectangle, sorry, the end bit here, which is a triangle, and this bit here, which is also a triangle, and then we have this bit here, which is a rectangle, and the bit on the other side here, which is also the same size rectangle. Marking on some lengths, so this is... This length here is 12. This length here is 5. Now, isosceles means that this side here will be the same as this side here. So this is 5. And this is 5. This length here is 6, which corresponds to this one. And here we have the vertical height of the or perpendicular height of the triangle, which is 4. Right, if you label that one A, B, C, D, E, and work out the area of them separately and add them together, you'll get what's known as the surface area. So A will be 5 times 12, this length is 12, which is 60 centimetres squared, we'll talk about area here. B is going to be 6 times 12, which is 72 centimetres squared. C is going to be the same as A, which is 5 times 12, which is 60 centimetres squared. Here we have a triangle, the area of a triangle is a half base times height, so it's going to be 0 0.5 times 6 times 4, which is 12 centimetres squared. And E is going to be 0 0.5 times 6 times 4, which again is 12 centimetres squared. What we need to do is add these together. So adding them together, we're going to get 216 centimetres squared. So the surface area of this shape is going to be 216 centimetres squared.